So Roblox Violence has gone ahead and added a new slime dungeon. So you're probably confused on what this is and where you should find it. So once you load into Slime Island, you should see it right next to the Spirit Island portal right here. Then once you've got a party of five, you can actually go ahead and go up to this wall and actually click F to enter the game mode. Now this game mode is permanent, but now I'm going to run through on how you can actually win this game mode. So once you've loaded in, you'll be in this little room and then you're going to go ahead and walk forward and then you will be granted a iron sword. Now you're going to have to go ahead and kill these little slimes and you have to kill 15 of them and then you'll move on to the next area so there's a chance of you actually getting these little red orbs and if you walk into it it will heal you and now we have actually cleared all of those and now you can go to the next area but if you want to actually go ahead and unlock this door well then if you actually unlock it you will get this chest now what you're going to have to do is go around in this little dungeon area and try and find a lever so the lever is over there and once you actually go all the way over here and open it, that door will open and you can go ahead and get like up to from 15 to 25 tokens. And now once you've gone to the next area, you've got a little harder of an entity and you have to try and kill all of these 26. And now while you're in this room, you can actually go ahead and unlock this door, what my teammates have already gone ahead and done, but how you can unlock that one is you don't need to actually find a lever, you need three people to stand on presser plate. So there's one right here, so if you go all the way over down here, there's one right there, where Honk is, and one right there. So if three people stand on that, that will open that door. So now we're in this actually little open area, and you're gonna actually rotate all of these statues facing this little statue right here. So there's one over there, and there's one over here here and if you actually rotate these crowns to the actual crystal pointing towards it you will actually go ahead and light that up and then you're gonna go ahead and go all the way over here and pull this and then that should open and now you are at this little rock parkour area and there's a chest right here so you can either claim any of these or you can re-roll it and get another one and you only have one re-roll i'm actually collect this one and now you have to try and do this parkour right now this parkour is a little buggy but you should be able to do it and there we go, everyone has made it over, so now we're gonna go into the next area. So now you're gonna have to kill more of these, and then you'll move on to the next area. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out to this open area, and now we're gonna have to find these three pieces around the map. Now these three pieces are always in the same place, and I'm gonna show you where you can find them. So when you come out of this cave looking thing here, you can actually go straight ahead and go into this cave, and there's a skull one right here. Then you can click F to collect it, and then if you go up here, and you can go all the way across this little bridge, looking island thing then you can come up to here and click f and then you can jump down here then you should see the last one right there is you're going to go ahead and just walk straight up to this door and f and then that door will open and now you're at a boss and now you're gonna go ahead and kill this boss and then i'll tell you what you can get from this boss so once you've actually gone ahead and killed the boss, you will get some more dungeon coin tokens and then you will actually go ahead and get a dungeon chest. Okay, so now you're probably confused on what you can actually do with these like coins what you get from the actual game. Well, right out front of the game, you have the adventurer here and if you talk to him and go to C shop, you can actually buy a bunch of these things with the dungeon coins. So most of these items are tradable, but some of them aren't. So it depends on what item it is, but I'm not really sure what's tradable and what's not. Now, you're probably a bit confused on what this chest actually is. Well, it's a bit like the infernal eggs and the serpent eggs and like the cauldrons and stuff. And if you place it, you can actually go ahead and open it. And it's basically just a treasure chest and it will sort through a bunch of things and you can actually get all of these things. So I got some Slime Queen tokens, what's well, not the best, but still, it's alright. And now, if you want to know another way to actually go ahead and get these dungeon chests, you can actually go ahead and go profiles and go achievements, because I've added achievements if you go to the dungeon section. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, click on this video right up here if you want to know more about the new huge nerf about vending machines.